lovely people it's your girl abaya if you're new to my channel i say welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning back in in today's video i want to show you guys how i detangle my hair all right let's get straight to it but before you go hit the subscribe button it's free okay now let's get straight to it for the detangling process i'm going to use olive oil I rubbed it into my fingers so that I could take the twist out easier. My hair was in a twist out before this and I just twisted everything into different sections because I wasn't ready to wash my hair. I also used rice water and aloe vera juice and I spread that mixture into my hair. This helps soften my hair. This helps soften my hair alongside with the olive oil. Here I'm taking apart the knots or the tangles. I'm trying to separate the strands that are clumped together with my fingers. As I'm doing this, I am pulling the strand, the hair down and trying to get the shed hair out. And I apply more of the spritz as I feel like I need. And as you can see, towards the end, the shed hair were coming out, so I just pull it out. At this point, I felt I could use the comb. Starting from the ends, working my way up. And you really have to take your time when doing this. There's no rush. You really have to give yourself time when you're detangling your hair so that you can avoid as much breakage as possible. And you see how the comb is gliding through. And that's the shed hair that I got for this section. For this particular section of course I had to speed this up because if I left it a normal speed it's gonna take forever in a day <laughs> to get through this video I decided to separate the hair to break the section down even more because I felt like it wasn't detangled enough and I really wanted to feel for knots because sometimes I feel like my hair is detangled but then when I go through it I realize there are like little clumps of um, hair stuck together and I really don't like that because then when my hair sheds it gets stuck on those tiny knots and it creates more tangles so I'm really um, particular about that making sure to get rid of every tangle so after that I just twist up the section and move on to the next as you can see my <laughs> my hair was pretty tangled so I repeat the same process applying the spritz and working the spritz into the hair then I apply the olive oil and then I just um, try to pull out the shed hair I'm trying as much as possible to separate the strands from each other the strands that are clumped together and trying to break apart the knots and the tangles. So 
So here I went straight ahead and separated the section right away instead of combing it first before separating the section. again and as you can see the comb is gliding through and there is that shed hair I'm done with that section and I twist it up. And sorry guys that I couldn't capture the entire length of my hair. I'll probably do this again and I'll try to really show um, my entire hair or the entire length of my hair whilst detangling it so that was done and i'm moving on to the next section repeating the same process again spritzing my hair with the aloe vera and rice water mix adding olive oil working it into the hair and then pulling out the shed hair Finger detangling, separating the strands and then twisting it back. Uh. Yeah, oh, it took forever and a day. So I finally got to the front section of my hair. I think after three hours or so. Yeah, and then I twist the section back up. Guys, it's the same process for each section. almost done this was the last section no there was still one section left hmm no that was the last section two thousand years later finally shrinkage shrinkage is real guys as you can see <laughs> this amount of shed hair that I had including some minor breakage
Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe, and also to hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. It's your girl, Abaya. Mm -hmm.